So welcome to this video. It is mainly for Chris because you challenged me to undertake a save for Solihull Moors. Uh, this is the history, so absolutely smashed it in the first se season, got the League and Cup double. Went up in the second season in League 2. League 1 again came second, I got four Manager of the Months. And then I hit a bit of a, a, a stumbling block really, so 19th, 19th, 20th. And you can see that I then left Solihull Hall more, so I'd had lots and lots of job offers. But finally, I applied for Bournemouth and got the job. We absolutely killed it in the Championship, so two, four, six, seven, Manager of the Months. We won the league um, and this video is about my first season in the Premier League. So. Uh, how many seasons did I spend at Sony Hall Moors? Three, six, so six. Uh, really difficult to sign players uh, throughout the whole of the time with Sony Hall Moors, as I think you struggled with as well. Um, but once I got into the Championship, it just became absolutely ridiculous. So I was predicted to come 24th every season, so at least I kept them afloat. New, the new stadium didn't make any difference whatsoever. So we'll move on to the next one. This is the tactics that I've been using. Uh, I downloaded it off the internet. Um, it's supposed to get lots and lots of goals for your strikers. That's not my first team 11 because I've pulled this off when lots of my first team 11 are having a bit of a break. Uh, they're all um, out, of, out of shape. So this is essentially what we have. We've got three at the back, the ball playing centre halves. We've got two wide uh, wingers that are attacking so that they they do leave us a little bit exposed down the flanks two deep line playmakers uh, attacking midfielder and two strikers up front these are the transfers that i made in the first season with with bournemouth so uh moise Keane had already been signed by the previous manager uh got a couple more strikers in campbell um, a Vidivi up front, and then I signed Tom Davidson, who was classed as a wonder kid at the time. Um, Hannibal and Hanson Aaron uh, came in at the end of the season, as you can see. So I'd signed them once we'd already gone up. They were my, my big signings. But uh, yeah, I bought a lot of players in during that first season. Uh, Oliver Skip, uh, Tommy Doyle, one of your favourites. I signed him as well. Got Patrick Bamford as well. I just like him in general, but he didn't really work out that well. Uh, Xavier Amachi as well did well wide for me. So yeah, lots and lots of ins, uh, lots of outs. Juan Hernandez, Alex Crow, Diallo, Tom Holmes, Jefferson Lerma all wanted to leave as soon as I joined. So I, I got rid of them and just, just rejuvenated the squad. A couple more signings uh, when we actually moved into the new season, particularly uh, Moreno, who was a free transfer from Bayern Munich, who's a wonder kid. Uh, Simon Thompson up front as well from Manchester City, also a wonder kid. Uh, yeah, so that was my signings. I did sell quite a few of the players, a couple of the strikers that I'd signed, especially for the Championship. I just wanted to, to refresh things a little bit. Uh, just looking at the the predictions from the media. So they predicted we'd come 15th, 350 to 1 to win the league. So I'd be happy with 15th, just staying up in the first season. This was the club vision that they had for me. So play possession football, attacking football. I've been signing lots of players under the age of 23. Uh, work within the wage budget, that's absolutely fine. Fight bravely against relegation. I got knocked out of the Carabao Cup against uh, Chelsea, so that, that wasn't so bad, but not started the FA Cup yet. This is the appearances so far. So Gavin Bazzuno, uh, the goalkeeper, has been ever present for me. Fraser Sharp, who was signed for just under 7 million from Scotland, has got 13 goals, so he's become my number one striker. He's not always keen out of the team. Hannibal, your favourite, one of your favourites, is, is also uh, playing a lot of football for me. Michael Alice, who's just signed yeah, in real life for, um, for um, Crystal Palace, um, he did fantastic for me last season. He's not quite trans transferred that form into the Premier League, but 7.14 can't be sniffed at. It's just not creating as many goals and not scoring as many goals. Uh, Marino and Tagliaferro, the two centre-halves that I bought, uh, have done really, really well. Uh, Chris Muffin would have played more, but he's had a couple of injuries. And then Tom Davidson, who was a wonder kid, who's now about 22, 23, had lots and lots of injuries this season, so not really got started. Uh, in terms of results, so um, big win on the opening day of the season, 5-1 against Southampton. We've done brilliantly at home and uh, really poorly away from home. So beat Villa 3-1 at home, you'll be pleased to see there. Um, 
We drew three all at home with Man United as well, who are currently top of the league. Beat Leeds at home. Chelsea, we actually beat them at home. They beat us in a couple of club com- competitions I've asked for seasons. That that was particularly uh, particularly good result. Uh, away from home, we actually picked up a nil nil draw with Arsenal, who are in the top four. Uh, some good wins first against Wolves who were bottom of the league at the time and then Manchester City we beat them 2-1 as well uh, then went away to West Ham and got smashed 3-0 but back at home we beat Nor- Norwich 3-1 who had been doing fantastically well in the league as you can see we've now uh, leapfrogged them so we're actually 8th at the halfway point which is which is not bad at all um, hoping to improve our away form for the second part of the season but there you go. Uh, that's where we're at. 